Are you trying to see all of your tasks that you're assigned to on all different boards within Monday in one place? Let me introduce you to the My Work feature. This feature allows you to see everything that you're assigned to in one place. So let's jump in to the tutorial and you'll see exactly how you can use it. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. In this lesson, I'm gonna introduce you to a feature called My Work Within Monday.com. Essentially what My Work is, is it's a place to pull together all of your tasks from all different boards within Monday.com. As you may know, if you're working on a lot of boards, it may be find, hard to find tasks and to know what you need to do. So My Work is the solution to that. It pulls all of your tasks in one place. Before we jump into exactly how this works, I just want to give you a few details that are really important to understand this feature. Number one, any board is automatically added to my work. So anytime you add a board, it's going to be added, like when you add a board to your account. Number two, there are some limitations within my work in terms of the amount of boards you can connect. So you can only have 250 boards and a thousand items. So you need to keep an eye that you're not over that limit. If you are, they will send a notification on my work. So you will be notified and then you need to make adjustments. Number three, you need to make sure that you have a person column, a status column, and a date column on all of your boards. Having three of these columns is going to allow you to use my work in the most effective way. So that being said, let's jump into how my work actually works. As you can see over here on the left-hand side, I have my work. And here I have a screen that's basically, it's almost like a board that shows me all of my tasks pulled together. For this example, I took these two task boards, just task board number one and task board number two, and pulled them into my work. Now, there's two different views that you have from here, the table view, which you can see is a standard table, or a calendar view. Different people like to work different ways, so therefore you have the different options of how you view my work. I wanna talk about the customizations and then we'll talk about exactly how to use this board and what's part of it. If we click on this button here, customize, you can see that I first have three tabs, general, table, and calendar. So these are the general settings for my work. Table is the settings for the table view, which is what we see here. And calendar is the setting for the calendar view, which we will also see. The first thing is that you have an option of a person to choose. So here I've chosen myself because I want to see all of my tasks. Now, if I was a manager, I can choose someone else. Let's say I want to see what tasks they're working on. I can choose someone else. The next is you can choose which boards you want. As I said, you can connect up to 250 boards. You can see all of my boards are here. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see these are the only two that are actually visible. If I want to get rid of one, I need to simply uncheck it. The next thing that you can see is the status column. Like I said, you need a status column to use my work. And here you can see from the item level and the sub item level, it is asking me which status column I want to use because sometimes on boards, you have a lot of different status columns. So you need to choose the one that you want to show up here. The next thing that you need to choose to customize is the date column. Sometimes you can have a lot of different dates on your board. So here you have to choose the specific date column that you want to use. Again, you could do item level and sub item level. And if you want, you can have a priority column. And over here, we have the option to hide done items because you may not want to see items that are already completed. So those are the general settings that you can set to customize my work. Now, let's just look at how it's set up and then we'll go into the different views. So first you can see that it pulls in a group, okay? And it pulls in the board. So it tells me what group this is and what board it, it's on. I have a person column, a date column, status, and priority. Remember, those were the things that I chose in the customization. So these are the only columns that you can see on this view. Keeping in mind, if you have a very complicated board and you need to see a lot of columns, you can't see them from this view. 
You can see them if I would click on, let's say this task, create a logo. I click on the update section and you have this view. I actually don't remember what it's called, but where you see your update section and you see all of the columns on the board. This is actually one of my favorite views within Monday. I think it's an old feature and you can ask support to implement it again on all of your boards. Like I have this as a default on all my boards because I think it's a really easy way to work where you see everything in one place. So if you would want to work on a specific test and within that board, there's a lot of columns and you can come here and open it and you could see I have all the columns that are on that board. But on this view, you can only have these columns. So sometimes that's limiting depending on the complexity of your boards and the work that you're doing. So now let's jump into the calendar view, the customization. The customization for the table view is you can see compact like this, or you can see context, which means it shows me which board and which group. Now it removed them. Remember I had the columns showing you that. So it actually removed it from the columns and it put it here, making it easier to view that information. That's a table view. Now let's go to the calendar view. So I'm gonna actually jump to the calendar first. You can see this is like the standard calendar widget. I can see it, view it by week, month. I'll just view it by month because it's easier. You can scroll between months. I can click on today. And here I have the option to view by month, week, or day. Now the customization options for calendar is I can color by, so I can decide what I want to color by one by one. All at once is everything on all the boards or one by one. I can choose a column. So let's say like I want to color it by group. So you can see it's colored by group here. And then I would have to choose on board two how I want to color it so it can be by group also. These boards both have the same group. So that's probably why it's a single color, but you can change it to whatever you want. And you also have some additional settings. Um, you can show hours if you want, show the color legends, hide weekends, and then you could set your default time if you want. So those are all the customizations on these two different views. Now, the other really cool customization is how you sort this information. Now you can see by default, it's sorted by date. So see, I have overdue today, next week, later. So it's automatically default by today. But if I click on date view, I can change it. This is like the same as the group by feature, if you're familiar with that. So here you can see, I can click on status. So here I have everything working on it, not started. See how my groups have changed based on my status. The other thing that I can choose is priority view. So I can view the tasks how I need to in a prior based on priority. I can view it by board. So here's board number one, here's board number two, and I can have one list. So I have everything in one place. So this allows you to pull everything in on all of these boards in order to work on it. So just to summarize, my work is a great option if I think you don't have boards that are too complicated and you want to see everything within one place. You can come here and you have all of your tasks that you need to do. So I definitely recommend checking it out and seeing if this feature is helpful to help you keep organized with all the tasks that you need to do. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.